Westboro was a uh, really, really competitive track, and uh, it had a real good crowd. It had a lot of car count, um, and it was a realistically priced place to run. Uh, where Rit Racing's really, really, really gone up in uh, price today. Uh, the backyard it could actually race here and be pretty competitive. And it had lots of competition there and a lot of success has come out of there with different races from New England that have made it elsewhere. So it was a lot of fun. How did you get your start uh, Start racing? Was Westboro just your local place to go? Uh, or? Grew up next town over and uh, just going there and just really uh, wanted to get an opportunity to get in a race car and do some racing. So uh, when Westboro closed, I continued somewhat, and then uh, now my kids race. They both race uh, Manadnock and Thompson and up north at different tracks. And it's That's good cool. to see that this, you know, it's still going on. So I'm still somewhat active in it. Well, it's like anything else. You, you don't want to, you want to be a part of it as long as you can, one way or another. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, uh, you, you see more and more of these tracks closing, and it's just, it's really too bad. You know, yeah. um, it's a piece of America that you like to see stay around. Yeah. Did you uh, did you win any races at Westboro and yep. some of the highlights of your career? Um, one, uh, won some features there, not too many, but uh, got quite a few second places and uh, thirds and some top fives. Yep. What was the last race like there uh, 25 years ago? The last race was uh, Sunday afternoon. It was a Sunday afternoon and it was a very, uh, it was a nice day out. It was actually a uh, nice fall day and um, real good crowd in the stands. Real, real good crowd in the stands. Um, very competitive and uh, I was fortunate to finish second in the very last race I had. Everybody at the, at the end of that race thought that they'd be definitely racing next year and everybody was saying, see you next year. and. They took the track down after. Yeah. Pro progress just moves on. Yeah, it's a shame of it, considering they had been there close to 40 years and then just yeah, it was an wiped old, out. Originally, uh, I believe, a midget track. Yeah, right? originally the midgets, right? Yep. Yep. But it was a uh, it was a historic landmark, and I think everybody kind of remembers it when they drive by there. Unfortunately, they're looking at a mall today. Yeah, but yeah, there's too many malls, that's for sure. Progress moves on. How did you get? What was the lap around Westboro Speedway? Because I've seen footage of it in the high banks, but when you're behind the wheel, what? How, how did you race that place? Uh, you'd really have to dime in the track. You'd pretty much almost have to touch the wall going down the back stretch and also the front stretch. It was a typical track that you really had to pretty much dime in it. I think back then, if I can remember right, you know, uh, we were getting around it probably. In, 14, 6 or so, right around then. That was considered a pretty decent time. But uh, if you look at Westboro's history, it's amazing the people that came out of it, the success of them, too. Yeah. In racing. yeah. And given that your son's race uh, to this day, uh, is there anything in racing you would change from, from when you ran it those years to say, I wish we could apply some of that? Keep it simple and do whatever you can to keep the cost down. Have a tire there that doesn't really matter to, if you have a lot of motor because you're not going to be able to hook it up anyhow. And just uh, keep the rules as simple as possible. Sometimes as uh, sophisticated as racing's gotten, you look at something, I haven't been to Hudson in a while, but I hear that Webb is getting a pretty good crowd and he keeps it pretty realistic as far as the rules.